So the lecture itself is going to be on the overall theme of heritage and uh, preserving uh, Grenada's heritage and um, preserving all of Grenada's heritage in all its many forms, whether that's in uh, the plantation landscape itself, the structures that are remaining, architectural structures, uh, implements, um, uh, performances, the cultural aspects of our heritage as well. Um, many people are talking a lot about now in this carnival season how carnival has changed and some of the old performances and old mass, for example, is sort of marginalized now. Um, so those kinds of things. Uh, the um, the performances that people did as well, uh, both whether it's different kinds of dances, um, our oral traditions and oral histories that are passed on orally that are seeming to die as people die off since we're not doing that so much anymore. Um, the storytelling that we did, also our natural heritage as well, right? Those things like our beaches and our rivers um, that used to be such a huge part of our heritage. I mean, this is where we bathe and used to wash. We no longer do that now. It's, some of it has been turned into dumping grounds. Um, or even the sulfur springs that many people have been interacting with in different ways um, that for, for whether it's ritual purposes or for those of us who go to bathe for healing purposes, those also need to be protected as well um, and maintained really well. So I think just having that awareness, I think, of all of those things that are part of our heritage and identifying them specifically um, in very specific ways become very, very important. And I think this lecture, I'm hoping that people get a sense of what is there and why it's important and not just to hear and shake their heads when they're there, but also to, uh, to at the end of it, what I'd like for people to say is, well, what can I do? Right? Uh, not just, wow, she said some great things and I agree with her, and then you kind of move on with your lives as if it never happened. But it, it's because it's we the people, I think, um, and I think that's what the lecture emphasizes, is the importance of the community in taking charge of these heritage materials that we have, that we are living with. One thing I also want to emphasize is the importance of um, emancipation. I think sometimes we hear the word, it's a very generic expression, um, but connect emancipation to slavery, right? We're celebrating emancipation, um, emancipation from slavery. Slavery primarily existed on plantations that were pretty much everywhere in, in Grenada. So it's on these sites where we all sort of our Grenadian identities and all of our traditions and practices actually developed. And so these are those spaces that I think are very important. Um, and likewise, if we go back to uh, carnival practice, we look at the masquerade, the idea of the masquerade, a lot of that is tied to emancipation. When people uh, celebrated um, their, their, um, their freedom, but in the mimicking of Europeans, right, in the mask that they put on and in the mocking of, um, of the European masters and colonizers. So I think um, we need to make those connections beyond just the everyday, you know, it's a great party, but sometimes I think we need to also reflect on why that's important and why we're even celebrating it in August in the first place. So we need to remember why it is we're doing what we're doing. Everything from the Jab Jab to the Veco and all of these all have connections to emancipation and by extension slavery as well. So I think for us, uh, for many people, they don't always want to go back to talking about slavery. For a lot of people, it's just these old things in the past. Why are we talking about that? But it is part of our heritage and it's part of our culture. And we need to uh, take pride in the fact that you know people sustained a lot for us to be here today. I, I would like for everybody to reflect really on what heritage means and 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 mean for them. Uh, sometimes people hear the word and it's sort of a generic thing, but. We all engage in it and we all can benefit from it and all can play a role in it. And that's what I'd like for everybody to take away is that, you know, it, it's meant for you to be taking charge of that. Um, you, the Grenadian person, no matter who you are, no matter where you live, we all are surrounded by heritage around us in a physical sense as well as in the, um, the non-concrete ways, right? So you may not live near a plantation structure, but you may know performances that people used to do 20 
20, 30 years ago that's probably not on the books anymore. You may know the stories that they used to tell about the Laja Bless and, you know, uh, the Ligaru, uh, whether you believe it or not, those are important cultural heritage that I think a lot of it is just dying out now. So, you know, how can we, how can you, the individual, take charge of that and make that contribution to our collective Grenada history and, and heritage? That's what I would like for everybody to think about.